Okay, folks, we're going to show you how to... Here's a new K-Cup, and here is a used K-Cup. Looks just like the new K-Cup, with the exception, if you look close, it's got a hole in the bottom. This is a K-Cup that's spent. I'm going to show you what the process is to get to this point, which costs, oh, about... 20 cents for this and this is about 60 70 cents depending if you get it on sale and so forth and you can spend almost a dollar a cup if you buy the premium brands like Starbucks or Pete's okay let's go okay now I'm going to show you how to deal with this you carefully peel the foil off and you can put your fingers there real close you'll notice the coffee and when you carefully peel the foil off your filter media will stay in there there you go or your foil lid and then you just turn the water on and you rinse this out there's not that many grounds and then you rinse it out like this. You gently put your finger in here. Not You don't push hard, you just, in a sense, bend the pleats back and forth just slightly so they release all the ground. And then when you're done, your K-cup looks like this. And then when you're done processing it, it looks like this. This was purchased, but you can use, all this is, if you look at the back side of this, it's a heavy grade aluminum foil. Then you take the coffee. Or I guess we don't have to explain that. No good. So now I think I'm going to have a cup of Starbucks coffee. Even though it doesn't say Starbucks, it is. We're going from that to that to that to this. Works exactly the same as it did before the first time around. Now for the real test. <sighs> yep, it's good. <laughs> 